I have a very special pen I want to show you today. It's on loan to me from Coles of London for review. And it's a pen that I have been lusting over for some time. And it is in this box. It is the Visconti Divina Elegance. And I tell you, it is divine. First time I ever saw this pen in person was at uh, the Drongles Pen Show back in November. Uh, John Lane was um, at the table and I, he was telling me about the pen and how gorgeous it is and I agreed of course. And so the pen I got to see it, it was like in a green color and then it was in this color called the Bordeaux. And I tell you the Bordeaux is very, you know, and I don't say this very often about pens, but it's a very sexy pen. You're gonna see what I'm talking about in a second, okay? Visconti Divina Elegance Bordeaux Fountain Pen. Has a white outer sleeve. So it comes in this really nice Visconti box. I like this box because it has the Visconti Vs all over it and silver and gold. It's a very elegant presentation in my opinion. It has Visconti and a sans serif typeface on the front of the box. Okay guys. Here we go. You ready to see this? Cause it is gorgeous. I've already peeked at it. I have, so. What do you think? Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like really decadent pen, but let's see here. It does have a false bottom. Let's see what comes under here. So you take this off and it has a Visconti catalog in there. And basically this catalog has like, you know, it's really smart to put these in here because it just has a catalog of all their pens and it makes you just want to buy more of them. But, you know, smart move, Visconti. The bottom, it's like, it's velvet. Wow, it's very soft. Doesn't smell like anything. Let's get to the pen. So in order to keep this pen as fabulous and shiny and as gorgeous as it could possibly be, Visconti has placed it into this plastic wrap, which I will now pull the pen from. Here we go. Oh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad because I have to send it back. Hold on, give me a moment, give me a moment. <sighs> it's everything that a pen should be. I mean, so long as the nib works okay. But Let me collect myself for a moment. So this pen is meant to be the embodiment of the Italian Renaissance. It's meant to embody the spirit of Leonardo da Vinci, not DiCaprio, he's an actor. Leonardo da Vinci, who was one of the most genius artists of our time. And a man with really a very small portfolio of paintings, which is hard to believe. You guys know him best because he painted the Mona Lisa. I believe she's overrated. He made better works than that. The most important thing that I find this pen to embody is the rule, or uh, you might know it as the golden rule. I learned it as the golden ratio, which is pretty much paintings possess this type of movement within uh, that your eye moves around, your eye is drawn to in a painting. And basically it's in the shape of a spiral. And so it has, you know, a bunch of information here and it pretty much breaks apart as the painting composition expands, right? Well, this pen is meant to embody that idea. That's what accounts for this spiral shape. So when you turn the pen, it does have this spiral effect, but the spiral shape is meant to mimic 
the golden ratio. But I like it more because visually, there's a lot of movement involved with this pen. Just when you pick it up and see the light reflecting off of the curvature of the surface, it is just gorgeous and decadent. Might I add, all of the metal you're seeing here, even mixed here with this beautiful, precious resin, sterling silver. Sterling silver, I don't know if that's sterling silver. This is uh, the fill mechanism right here. Sterling silver, gorgeous. Even the right here, the appointments, all of it, sterling silver. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's like having a really expensive piece of jewelry. I'm gonna tell you how much this retails. Uh, normally it would retail for $1,195. Yes, that's $1,195 US dollars. But you can find it at some retailers for $956. $956. That's like, well, it's less than my mortgage. It's way more than my car payment. Well, you know, you could sit there and weigh the amounts inside of your mind of <laughs> uh, how much rent you need to skip or if you should skip that car payment. No, I'm just kidding. Don't go into debt over a pen. That's silly. But $956. So it's definitely something you could save up for, uh, which is what I would do. But you know what? Forget it. Let's not talk about the price anymore because, you know, it's it's expensive. But let's take a look. I don't know if you could see the light reflecting off of the resin. So the Bordeaux, it's kind of like this dark purple, but in some places on it, the light reflects off of it. It's like it glows. So it has a, an iridescent or incandescent type of glow to it. But my goodness, it is so beautiful. One of the things I love about this Conti Pens is the clip is spring-loaded, so it doesn't take a whole lot to move it around. And it is just, I just, I can't stop staring at how gorgeous it is. It's like mesmerizing, isn't it? Some of the Homo sapien pens feature it, and this pen does have it. And that, that would be the hook safe lock closure of the cap. So it pretty much has, so there's kind of this, if you push in a little bit, you can feel this kind of spring loaded type of situation in there. And so you push it in and turn. And if you look closely here, it doesn't have threads like a regular pen, but it has this where you push the pen into it and turn it and it takes like half a turn. So this is actually really nice. Like if you're, you need to take this off with one hand, you could just, you do it very easily. Well, maybe I can't, but you can turn it. So turn it like that and you could get your cap off. Now I do love that the section matches the rest of the pen. The pen does feature an 18 karat gold 1.5 stub nib. There's the feed. So that is quite nice. Now I'm gonna put the cap back on and I'm gonna show you the filling system because the filling system is really interesting as well. So the filling system is a it's a it's a pull and turn piston filling system so it's a little different than what i've ever used everything i've ever used it has this knob up here that you turn and it locks and all that stuff well this one is you have to you pull it let me make sure i don't want to like there you go <laughs> i don't want to hurt my nail so you pull this out and it actually comes out very nicely and then you turn it like so. And then at the very end of it, it even tells you like, this is really helpful to me because I have some you know, pens. It's like when you're filling the pen, it's like, well, which way do I turn it to, to draw the ink into it? Well, this actually has like directions on there for us idiots, or not y'all, me. But which way to turn it to fill it and then to empty it, which is nice. So when you're done with that, you just push back in. So that's really cool. So I'm, you know, overall, I, I'm very impressed with the build of this pen. 
I mean, it's really just fabulous. And again, I'm just really sad I have to send it back. <sighs> I don't really want to send you back. In fact, I threatened Coles alone. And I said, you know what? You might not get this back. I might keep it. What are you gonna do? Come to Texas and take it from me? As we like to say here, and we've got a flag with it on there, it says, come and take it. I mean, I'm gonna send it back because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna pull that stunt. That's not cool. <laughs> but I want to. All right, all right. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink this gorgeous pen up and take it for a test drive and let's see how she writes. Let's see how this gorgeous $956 pen writes. And let's see if it's worth saving up that money for. have to be so smooth. It's a smooth writer. It was glorious. Oh, my goodness. I mean, would they send me to jail, like, if I didn't return this, or... Well, I might have to save up for this pen, and I do like the Bordeaux, but I've, I've seen the green in person, and I think that's, I would probably get the green, but I like this. But hey, how much of, how great of an ink pen match was this freaking Levens Cardinal Powers? I don't speak Dutch, so, but this Ackerman ink is, I mean, right? It's a perfect match, so if you were to get this pen, I highly recommend the Ackerman's, um, the Ackerman Dutch Masters ink. 
But yeah, I mean, guys, this is a total luxury. It was a complete pleasure to be able to try this pen out and review it for you guys uh, just for sheer enjoyment, right? I mean, remember back when I had the, the Monte Grappa last summer, the uh, Auto Extra Sephirius? That was like a $3,000 pen. That was a total pleasure to have. And I'd have to say this is up there with one of those, you know, just a very extravagant pen. Thank you, Coles of London, for this opportunity. And thank you for joining me for this look at the Visconti Divina Elegance. It truly is elegant. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. And that's how the ink flows.